welcome back welcome to this section on threads multi threading is one of the most important programming concepts in this video we'll write a simple program and try and understand why we need threads let's get started with a simple project right as usual let's create a new java project i'll call this threads or you can call this multi threading let's call this multi threading and you can click finish when you click finish you can create a new project uh, actually new class so let's go ahead and create a class i'll call this thread basics runner i'll add in a main method and finish so we have a main method also present in here let's say there are three tasks that we are doing task 1 and let's say there is a task 2 and there is a task 3 we'll just have simple code to represent what these tasks are doing right so i'll say for int i let's say task 1 for now is just looping around so int i is equal to 101 i less than equal to 199 i plus plus so it prints from 101 to 199 and what does it do it just prints out the number i'll use system dot out dot print and i'll use i plus a space okay let's say the remaining tasks are also doing something of the same kind so let's say this is running from 201 to 299 and this is running from 301 to 399 right so what would happen when i run this you would see that each one of these tasks would run one after the other now let's go in here and let's say over here system dot out dot print i'll say slash n to print the new line and task 1 done right so task 1 is done and here task 2 is done and over here task 3 is done and this last thing is the completion of the main so main method is done right so the main method completed execution so when we run this we will be able to see everything going in right so you have task 1 that's completed task 2 is completed 201 to something and task next task 3 is done and you have main done let me just remove the spaces in here just cool okay right this is typical programming what is happening is all the things in the task 1 are done and after that task 2 and after that task 3 right this is normal programming stuff right until now whatever code that we wrote runs after the execution of this line we would go into the next line so inside a method first these lines are executed then the next ones and then the next ones and then the next ones over here we have three different tasks right so task 1 task 2 task 3 typically in a lot of scenarios you might have situations where task 1 task 2 and task 3 are independent of each other and some of these tasks might be dependent on external services probably you are depending on io and a lot of that kind of stuff so during the execution of this task your cpu will not be fully utilized but even then the cpu has only one task to execute so what it would do it would keep waiting so even though we can execute task 2 in parallel with task 1 the cpu does not know that so what it would do it would keep waiting threads allow you to run all these tasks in parallel so you can have one thread running this code another thread running this code and another thread running this code so all these three tasks can be run in parallel parallelism you can actually increase the utilization of your cpu because while it waits for data from an external service or a database it can keep processing the instructions from the other tasks in the next step we would start with creating a thread and try and parallelize task 1 i'll see you in the next step This video is part of a Java course with more than 250 steps helping you become an expert on Java. 
You can find the complete course details in the description of the video. Along with it, you can also find the details of a free PDF with 200 pages of awesome code examples in 28 minutes, creating great programmers.